look, here's the reality. Life is not gonna give you what you wait for. Life ain't gonna give you what you deserve. See, I want you guys going through problems in your life. Say, how much is it? Great, can you slide my card now? But the people that believe in you, that's your family. That's your family. I, I, I think I woke up something to something you guys. <laughs> now you guys are all pissed. Okay. Never short stopping. Now I'm winning like I'm Jada. Steady through the rigor. Yeah, I'm getting bigger. Just fighting in them trenches. Now I'm making seven figures like. Why are habits and mindsets so important? What's more important, the why or the how? Because the why will always find a way to implement the how. How is just too logical. How many, how many guys, how many, raise, raise your hand if you're math people. Okay, just a few of you. <laughs> raise your hand if, better question. Raise your hands if you're not math people. Okay, there you go. So, <laughs> think, shit, that's what you do as well. I get it, I get it. So people that try to approach business from a logical, mathematical formula perspective end up failing because there's no energy or spirit behind it. Because how you, how you think things is how you see things. And how you see things is how you do things. And how you do things is the result you're gonna get. So it starts from what? How you think things. So that's why we have such a large investment towards leadership development and personal development as it relates to financial services. Because how you think things is how you see things, and how you see things is how you do things. Okay, so here's what strugglers do. They wait for things to happen. Listen, I, how many times have you heard some? I can't wait for what 2022 is gonna bring me in my life. I can't wait for what life is gonna do for me. I can't wait, you hear that? Yeah. Look, here's the reality. Life is not gonna give you what you wait for. Exactly. Life ain't gonna give you what you deserve. Life is gonna give you when you don't wait for things to happen. So if you're waiting for something to set up the BOM, if you're waiting for something to set up a field training, if you're waiting for your upline leadership to call you back and you don't follow up with them, who's in the wrong? Are you gonna struggle or are you gonna win? You're gonna struggle if you're waiting for things to happen. Listen guys, I've seen people in this business with the right resume fail right away because they put their whole identity in their resume. Entrepreneurship and capitalism is about not what you are, capitalism and entrepreneurship is what you do. That's why some of you here are 18, 19, 20 years old, you can smoke those like me. Like you can, you can, like you can take over guys like me if you put the efforts and the necessary training to action, you can take out guys like me. If those are your 20s and 30s, if you take on these habits of winners I'll share in a second, you can be multi, multi, multi millionaires by the time you're 30. And for some of you in your 20s and 30s and 30s and 40s, whatever you didn't accomplish in the last 10, 15, 20 years of life, you went through a divorce, you went through debt, you went through bankruptcy, went through foreclosure, you've been laid off, essential, non-essential, whatever you didn't experience in the last 10, 20 years, you can recapture in the next three to five. And for the rest of your life, you can live like a king or a queen. I promise you this. This is it. This is it. But you're, if you're attached to people, not the process, you'll get stuck. You'll struggle. You, uh, uh, how, how many guys have ever been through a breakup before? <laughs> okay, for those of you who didn't read, okay, okay. If you're standing next to your spouse, don't mind, don't mind, don't, don't worry about raising your hand. Okay. <laughs> so to praise the Lord, hallelujah. Okay. How many guys felt after that breakup, you kind of felt hurt? Yeah, you kind of felt hurt. Damn. Because it's a, it's a form of rejection. Like, I just invested, in, I just invest 20 minutes into you. <laughs> I just invested six months of my life with you. I just invested years of my life with you. Now it's what, nothing? Right? Now our friends that we had together are no longer friends. Now our friends are choosing sides. Damn. Right? Okay. How many have said then the next day after that, you, <laughs> for however long it took, whether it took a day, a week, a month, how many guys have heard the term rebound chick? Yeah. Rebound dude. Right? Right? You went to the clubs right after, you drank some wine, you had rebound dude. Listen, I, I don't know what that means. I'm a Christian. Okay? So that, I, I, it's, it's, I've heard of it. I've heard of it though. <laughs> well, how many guys had that situation? Now, that being said, how many guys said, I want to make sure that they regret ever breaking up with me? Yeah. Huh? That's it. Huh? You quit on me, you break up with me. No, I break up with you. <laughs> you think you're going to do this to me? <laughs> Jose, you think I'm going to do this to me? No. <laughs> okay. So here, here's the thing. <laughs> I, I, I think I woke up something to some of you guys. <laughs> now you guys are all pissed. Okay. Here's reality, here's reality. I wish I could prevent this from you. I wish I could guard you from that. I wish I could protect you from this. But people are gonna quit on you. And not only that, they're gonna badmouth you on the way out. 
and they become your enemy. Your friends, your family members. Now, by the way, did I say enemies, you have to hate somebody? No. They're just the enemy. They're just not they're either for me or you are against me. And they become against you. you know, and then you can start realizing, damn, I'm not in, wait, uh, on Instagram, story, wait, this is my boy. He's having a party right now. He didn't invite me to his party? Damn. I see post, uh, a picture posted, everybody tagged but me because I'm not there. I got disinvited without me even knowing that happened to me. And guess what? As much as I, I want to protect it from you, it's going to happen to you. You already getting it? How many guys are already facing it, right? Amen, hallelujah. It's part of the process. So don't get hooked on the people. Get hooked on the process. Listen, DNA is what connects you and your relatives. But the people that believe in you, that's your family. That's your family, okay? All of us here, okay, this might be your new family. Okay, this might be your new, because yeah. listen, we're, we're believing in you, we recognize you, we're willing to go through the struggles together, we're willing to get arrested together, we're family. Okay, <laughs> okay? that's it. Okay, we're family. But, but you're going to struggle through that if you're hooked on to people. Listen, I know COVID's going on and a lot of things are going on, but please don't use COVID as another excuse for the dog ate my homework. However you feel safe, you take the jab, you don't take the jab, you wear a mask, you don't, I don't care. However you, you sanitize, socially distance, knock yourself out, but don't use COVID as an excuse for you to live your life. Don't live in a position of fear. In my opinion, I could be wrong, but after paying your taxes, the money that you save, put your kids in decent schools, a decent neighborhood you live in, putting money away for savings, in my opinion, you need to make 300,000 a year just to keep your head above water. It's my opinion especially you have family and friends. So making $100,000 a year, I don't know. It's a start. By the way, you make $100,000 a year here, we give you a high five, and if you make another $100,000 a year next year, we actually set you up a GoFundMe account because we don't know how you're making it. <laughs> That's the joke around here. Uh, let me condition your brain that making $100,000 a year here is minimum wage. Okay, are you conditioned that way? Good, because I want you to know that $100,000 a year is a, is a minimum expectation. And the only way you get off the rails to make $100,000 this year if you're lazy and inconsistent. That's the only way. Now, who's, a, who, who's, contr who's in control of that? That's, I'm so glad you control of that. I'm so glad you, you know, you're in control, because you are, okay? See, I want you guys going through problems in your life. Say, how much is it? Great, can you slide my card now? Yeah. So, for example, my, my daughter, she's Poppy, because she's up and she goes, Poppy, listen, my heart, you know, I, I need to get checked. And but they told me it's, it's gonna take me two weeks to get an appointment. I said, babe, get me on the phone right now. I got on the phone with the receptionist. Why is it taking two weeks to see my daughter? She's having, heart, she's having uh, anxiety and uh, heart, whatever, palpitation, whatever. What, what, what does it take for you to see her today? Well, so we got to run through insurance. Forget insurance. What does it cost for you to see her today? Well, it's 500 bucks. Run my credit card. Babe, see you there at 2 o'clock. You see, I want you guys playing offense with your life like that. For some people, 500 bucks, oh my gosh, I got to drain my entire emergency savings. One flat tire set you, set you back. I remember, I remember how long it took me to save $500 in my emergency account. Months. One flat tire, gone. <laughs> how much does it cost for a tire? Two fifty. Can we get one used? Can't you just patch up the old one for 50 bucks? Yeah, yes. by, by the way, for those of you that are relating to the story, you, you, <laughs> for those of you relating to the story, you're going you're gonna, to serve your mark and your team so well when you get to 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 a year. You just, can't, you just can't forget these moments. I don't.